So hey everyone, so I just left Trucker's Equipment about 15 minutes ago. They installed my new WeatherGuard toolbox on the back and I have a full video on that installation that I'll show you right at the end of this. But before we get into that, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my sponsorships as well as my choices and how I wanted to be sponsored. So one thing I will never do is be sponsored by a manufacturer of a vehicle. I have been contacted by two of them and they wanted to sponsor my channel in one way or another and I turned down both of those requests. Uh, the reason for that is I have grown a lot in the last several months that I've been doing this. I try to be pretty fair and balanced on all the trucks that I review. I don't want to point out excessive numbers of flaws if there really aren't any. And if anything, I just point out the few things that I really think could have probably been done differently or better on those trucks when they were being built. Now, that being said, let's talk about my two sponsors. So first we're gonna talk about Ranch Hand. So when I started talking to different companies that might be interested in working with me, either companies that had reached out to me through messaging or companies that I had actually engaged with, I did not wanna work with a company that I felt did not emphasize what I'm looking for in a partner, and that is built in America, quality of work, quality of manufacturing, and quality of materials. So meeting those criteria is actually pretty difficult because a lot of companies have outsourced the majority of their work to Asia. What I wanted to do was work with companies that kept their manufacturing in-house, kept it here, and produced a product that was just top-notch. Quality was more important to me than anything. If you review a product that is just developed, designed, manufactured with extreme quality in mind, then the first thing you'll realize is that there's not a lot of bad stuff you can say about them. That you're going to essentially be providing you just a review on how a product's built and you may not really uncover a bunch of flaws. And when it comes to truck accessories, I think that should be the norm. You don't wanna buy a brush guard or a bull bar or a replacement bumper and go, man, I really wish this part was built better. You would be very hard pressed to find someone who could find any complaint with a ranch hand bumper except for its weight. And that's because when you use thick steel, high quality steel and you manufacture the product well, it's gonna be heavy. And that holds true for a lot of products. So, partnering with Ranch Hand was almost a no-brainer. I want to be 100% clear that I receive no financial contributions of my sponsors. They don't pay me a penny. And I specifically requested that, and I appreciated the fact that I'm not working with sponsors who are trying to buy me. I'm working with sponsors who deliver a great product, a great message, and that would allow me to test their equipment in real-world scenarios versus trying to pay me just to say good things about it. Now, Trucker's Equipment, at the same time, delivers that same message. Again, I wasn't asking for any financial backing, so they're not paying me a penny to do anything. What they're doing is, is providing me a way to test equipment that otherwise I wouldn't have had access to. I wouldn't have been able to just go out and buy it all and test all these different brands and all these different products. But what it gives me the ability to is tell you what I think are the best products, which ones are engineered better, which ones have better components, which ones use better materials, things like that. Because I think that that's important when it comes to the manufacturing of equipment. And working with Trucker's Equipment gives me the ability and the access to the equipment to do that. Now, Trucker's Equipment is a very ethical business. I will only work with companies that have a very strong commitment to customer service, a very strong commitment to after the sales support and provide the level of expertise, installation knowledge and quality of work that you would just expect if you're giving them your hard earned money in return for you know some piece of equipment. The same can be said for Ranch Hand. Ranch Hand has been phenomenal to work with. They as well as Trucker's Equipment have never dictated what I say about their product, have never told me, you need to say this or you need to do this. My reviews are 100% honest. I'm not being told to embellish anything. And as I'm reviewing one product, they may actually tell me, well, look at this other one because this part's produced better or this has a feature that this other one may not. So 
again, I just wanted to point that out because I think it's very important that you all understand. I hope that that's what you expect from me, and I hope that you believe that that's my intentions because they truly are. Anyways, I hope everyone has a wonderful Christmas with your families. I hope you're safe and healthy, and I'll talk to you soon. So here is the WeatherGuard 20-inch toolbox. It's an aluminum-constructed toolbox. The locking mechanism on this toolbox is probably the most difficult in the industry to try to access or break into. They actually have some videos where it shows folks with a pry bar trying to pry open a WeatherGuard toolbox versus some of the competing brands. What I can tell you is my old toolbox is designed in a much cheaper way. And one of the things that always scared me was having expensive tools in it, different things that I keep for my RV, and how easy it might be to break into. One thing that I noticed that was really nice, and they actually explained to me here, is a lot of folks who are really into fishing will actually use this as a tackle box. And you can use it for pretty much anything, little parts and components. But, you know, if you're really big into fishing, you could always put your emergency tackle supply in here. And it comes with these really nice little mounts that are generally made for a contractor who wants to put their level up here. But if you have a two-piece fishing pole, you can simply mount your fishing pole up there as well. So that makes for a really handy uh, emergency fishing stash, I guess. You get kicked out of the house and you need to go fishing. And you have these nice hooks that come off the back as well. Or these loops that let you use the toolbox is actually part of a tie down. So one of the big differences between this toolbox and my old toolbox, the inside right here where it mounted over the bed rails and clamped in place, it only had one bolt on mine. On this one, it actually has three clamps that will clamp underneath the bed rails and secure in to hold this in place. So this is a far more rigid mounting structure if you're going, going to be tying anything down in the bed of your truck. Also, this toolbox comes with a limited lifetime warranty. This toolbox is what I would probably argue to be the very best toolbox on the market. And one of the main reasons for getting something like this is you want to buy a toolbox and you want to know that if your truck's parked outside, all your tools are safe. And this is the toolbox you're going to want to get for that. So one of the really nice features of a WeatherGuard toolbox is their locking mechanism. So typically you have a lock on the front here, you twist a key and you pull a handle up, and that's similar to the system that I used to have. It's actually not a very secure system, and part of the reason why is the way that lock system actually works enables a thief to go in and punch it out, or to twist it with a pair of pliers, or even just break it. On this system, you have this incredibly robust locking system. To lock the toolbox, when you close it, you simply press this button in and it locks the toolbox. To unlock the toolbox, all you do is put the key, twist it, this pops out, and then you press this button to open up the top. So let me demonstrate how this works. All you have to do is press the button and it opens. No more having to fidget with a handle down here that gets jammed or gets wedged anytime you have something up top that presses up against the bar. So one thing to point out about these WeatherGuard toolboxes is that they put this support mechanism in place, kind of like a reinforcement brace. And it's designed to add extra rigidity, especially if there's going to be weight on the top. Here's a shot of the locking mechanism on the outside. You can tell it's a far more robust locking mechanism than, especially my old toolbox, but lower cost toolboxes. So another nice thing about these toolboxes is if you're going to be running any type of lighting system, especially on the inside or on the lid, these nice little wire run access points on the side that give you access into the toolbox for any type of wiring harness. So you don't have to actually drill through your toolbox. Now place the toolbox in here. As you can see, I have an access toolbox tonneau cover, and this butts up against the edge here to create a weather seal, which it actually does a really good job of, and it gives me the ability to have this roll-up tonneau cover behind the actual toolbox. So since this toolbox, I don't really want to drill through the top of it to mount the strobe lights, we're actually going to wire these lights that come with the ranch hand bumper to a federal signal wigwag and this is basically a strobe or a flasher and this is going to have them alternate so whenever I need to have some type of emergency roadside light on I can actually just flip these on and these are going to strobe back and forth. Right now we're actually wiring these up you've got to be impressed with how they're actually doing the work. Most places would probably just put a twist clip or some type of a cheap connector on. He's actually crimping and soldering all the connectors then heat shrinking them. One difference to note between the F350 dually and the F450 is the placement of the seven-way trailer connector it's slightly to the left versus the cutout which is designed more for an F350 which would be right on top of the uh, actual seven-way connector. 
So if anybody was wondering what happened to the old toolbox, it became a Christmas present. So here's the finished product. Installation of a 20 inch weather guard toolbox. Again, I've been meaning to put one of these on my truck for a long time. I've heard such good things about them. I've had several options to put on my truck um, from several different manufacturers and this is definitely the route I've been wanting to go for a while. Here's the back bumper. Here's with the wigwags turned on. Turned out really good. Again, here's the toolbox from the other side. I hope you enjoyed this installation video. If you do, I'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed to my channel. Thanks everyone.